Today, I'm going to start a small project for you on .NET 5 SP.NET MVC. The project is Employee Task Management. On this project, I'm creating the database using Entity Framework Code First Migration. Also, I'm planning to do the next part of this video will be the web API of this project. And the Angular UI will be connecting to this web API. So you don't forget to subscribe my channel and welcome all to my channel. Before going to start our projects, we need to understand the project. So I have prepared some documentation for it. You can see here. The module of this project are admin login, employee registration, employee login, and employee task details. The screens are represent the exact flow of this project. There's a login screen. Admin and employee can log in here, and only admin can register the employee details. Once employee registered, then he can log in and enter the task details. Admin can show all task details of all employees and the employee login only show their own task details. That is the project. Here I am creating the table structure of this project. There are mainly three tables, one for admin login, employee registration and employee task details. And let's start our projects. Go to File, New Project, then select to C Sharp Web Application .NET Core, and enter the project name, and select .NET 5. If you don't have .NET 5, then you can install the latest version of VS 2019. I have done a video for installing VS 2019 and SQL Server 2019. That link is provided here in the description box. Once you create the project, create a model folder. All model classes and the DB context class will be created in this folder. The DB context class is the connecting part of the database and the project. Here I am creating the DB context class that name is employee task DB. Then install the entity framework core packages from NewJet. Maybe take some more time because there are mainly four packages need to install. Okay, now complete the installation then go to the app settings.json file here we need to set up the connection string server name copied from the sql server the DB name, you can enter anything. Now enter some codes on DB context class. Then create model classes for creating tables. Each model class represents the tables in the database. 
the model class properties are represents the fields in the tables Here employee ID is the foreign key, so we need to add the foreign key attribute here. Then only the foreign key is created on the database table while we done the migration commands. Okay, then we have created the three model classes. Then we need to define it on the DB context class. Okay, we finished that. Then we have to do some codes on startup class. Under the section configure services, add this code. Then can only migrate our model classes to database. Okay, then go to package manager console window. Uh, you can choose it from here then add command add migration then uh, the command name here got some errors because we didn't add any keys on the model classes each model class should be at least one key it's for primary key then add add migration command then enter then update database command enter if you got done then database will be created okay let me check it on the database 
refreshing database and uh, expand the tables here created all columns with foreign key and primary key okay now first part of this project is completed it is the database creation next will be the controller and views creation it will be on the next video because we got already a long video now then see you on the next video bye